right, back in the chaos. We just crashed the ship, and we are on the second part of chapter four. Oh, look at little Fran. She's so sad. They're sad little child eyes. Okay, but it looks like it was a red bicycle? Or were we just hallucinating and just riding a bike and then crashed it? I'm glad we don't have any bruises or anything. All right, let's go. This is the second part. Oh, are we in town? Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hey, street. Yeah, everything is hazy in this game. Yeah, it is. I'm just gonna lick my nuts now. Is this my home? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. So that's it, we, we just walked home from an insane asylum. Perfectly normal, nothing bad is gonna happen. Aunt Grace, hello. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I seem to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Wait a minute, when she had her back turned, was it like a straight jacket she was wearing? It had like the straps in the back. I couldn't really tell. I can't get her to turn around. Mr. Midnight, would you like some more adventure? Not really, no. Why are you asking me? I thought that maybe you would like to climb this plant holder. Oh no, I'm too tired. Fuck that shit. If you do it, Kitty, I'll make your favorite meal, please. You can't get me to do things for food. But Kitty... Alright, Fran, I'll totally do things for food. I'll climb only if we don't find the key. It's a weird statement, Kitty. How will we ever know if we can't find the key? I don't know, let's search. Ooh. Sorry, little insects, don't run away. Uh... Ooh. Gross bogomites. Wait, what What the... Was this me? It says I took the key. Signed, Fran. I took my own key? Have you lost your mind, child? Alright, well, dude, you're gonna have to climb, because obviously I did something and I don't remember. Come on, Kitty, you must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note and I don't remember writing it. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. Ah, uh, alright. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Damn it. Gotta be some freaking Scooby Snacks or something for this shit. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Oh, what the shit? Fran, I can't believe this. You're alive. Where were you? Dr. Dan, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How in the hell did you escape? I, I escaped with a yellow door, sir. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside right now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, I think. Mr. Midnight? Is, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? Well, I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door any minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Come on. Run, child, run! Well, you didn't put much. Uh, you didn't put up much of a fight, so you know. There's that. Oh. Wait, what? A bunch of Goobamite spirits. What's what? What? What was that? I'm sorry, Fran, but I don't want to hurt you or scare you. But I had to abduct you in my car in the middle of the night. It's totally normal. Don't ask questions. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about that? It feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murder on Hay Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found earlier this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Marco... Hilma said, it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. So did someone have like a mega death scythe and just like sliced them real quick? How is that even possible? The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Wait, what? Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding her parents' murder. I'm only 10 years old. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. What the, what's with the, the demon symbol? Uh, the, the, the pentagon here. Pentagram, sorry. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. 
I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin, Jesus, creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. I know because I used to trip on that shit back in college. Used to trip balls back in the day. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, friend? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of the duotine, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, friend. Well, good. I really don't want to take that shit. I'm just tired of going to hell. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things. That's all. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. What in the world? I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh, God. I knew this was going to happen. I knew by the end of this playthrough, from us taking the pills so many fucking times, our brain was going to be fucking melted, and now we're going to be able to tell the difference between what's real and what's not. Ugh. You know, you take the pills away, which made me happy, but then I completely forgot, like, oh, well, I'm all blended now. Just damn it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents, now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in a thirster with Palantras and the Great Wizard. What the f- You know, what are you talking about? Please, friend, I'm being serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantras, and my kitty is all alone. Palantras? Itward? Please, friend. Palantras is the doctor of a thirster. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward, he's my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward, or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It was Edward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sold them together, mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You're not a bad doctor, you're just, just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Tonight I'm gonna be a bad boy. Great. Oh, goody, you took us to a cemetery. This is, this is appropriate for a, a child, great. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on. Follow me. An old scary man into a cemetery in the middle of the night. Who just abducted you in his car? Don't ask questions. A crowbar. Hope the doctor doesn't mind. Yes, apparently I'm dead. That's messed up. Can I use the knife? Ooh. Okay. I cut leather for whatever reason or whatever. All right. Here we are. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, and for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the, the deadly worms came already. Who? Mm. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. 
I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here. All right? That rhymes. I should be a rapper. Yes, Dr. Dan. I'll see you soon. Yeah, let a child just go wandering aimlessly in a freaking cemetery. Just go find shit. You're the worst type of... Ugh, whatever. Martin Bo, daddy, he was 43. Lucia Bo, mommy, she was 40... No, 39. Yes. And Fran Bo, I was 10. Guess I'll just wander aimlessly until hell strikes again. A shovel storage room. Is that really a thing? A storage room just for shovels. Okay, well... Let me see if I can use the bow crawler. Use the bow crawler. Did that work? Oh, pinecone people. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh, what's up? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. Tribes Collector? That sounds exciting. Right now we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Okay, yeah, let's not share this with the children, please. Pinecone mating ritual. Uh, oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather? Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the Deedleworms wanted it back. You used human skin for mate. Uh, okay. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Uh, Sebastian, could you do me a favor? It depends on the favor of giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I can do that, but we help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? Alright, I'll see what I can do. I already have it. Here, take this for your disgusting mating habits. That's gross. Ugh, pinecone sex. Well, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pinezealus, would be happy. Oh, you have names, cool. And now, I will open the door. Just a second. Ah, oh, you're right, Sebastian. Sebastian. Totally fine. I'm, I'm all right, Miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, Giant Miss. Uh, Fabio. Oh, I have to go, Miss. Uh, good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Okay, you go get your groove on, you little pine cone creatures. That's weird. There's nothing in here. I could. What do you mean? There's nothing in here I could use. Bruh. Bruh. Come on, there's gotta be... Light this bitch on fire. There's gotta be something in there. There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. I don't know why I thought a child could find one on her own, but here you go. Alright, use on the, the hole. Like you'd even have the... Look at you, you got tiny little bones. Like you'd have the arm strength to even do this. No, he's doing all the work. Well, now... We'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had my crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but can you do the honors of opening the coffins? Don't ask questions, but I need a small child to open up the dead coffins of three dead people in the middle of a cemetery in the goddamn middle of the night. Don't ask questions. All right, sir. I'll open them. Use. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! Mr. Midnight? Right? That, hang on, hang on. So this must be Mommy. Why are we doing this again? Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? Why would a child know this? No, sir. I just feel really bad about doing this. I feel like this is really irresponsible of you, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. Okay, so obviously I'm not in here, so reporting me dead was obviously a fluke, right? Like, something's obviously wrong, because I'm right here, and there's a cat there. And even the freaking uh, tombstone says, you know, mom, dad, and me. But it's got uh, the cat there. So, hello... Red flag, people. I'll take care of this later. No, you won't, you piece of shit. You're just gonna fucking leave it. You know damn well he ain't cleaning this up. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Well, we just desecrated a grave and we're just gonna leave it, so we're just some wholesome people here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. What? Uh, 
vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light, the one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. What? What is... Oh! Are you soul-sucking? What? What's... What in the hell? Remember what? Uh, what the shit? So is the old man dead? What's what's going on? You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. Come on, get get in there. Thank you. If you want to find those you love in darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Oh, that was the shortest chapter ever. Chapter five, The House of Madness. This is back to where it all began. Oh no, how, you know, I should have saw this coming. She's the only member of the family who's still alive and then tried to get rid of me. You doing something with the Dark Lord? Is this some Voldemort shit you're pulling? Oh, Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at my home, my dear. My, really? That's incredible. Um, I'm happy to see you, but uh, what's with all the chains? Soon, my darling. Where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame someone else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I'll always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? What is up with these fucking chains? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend. Don't you worry about the lies. The secret of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend. Go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. I'm butt-fucking crazy. Okay, all right. And of course the door just disappears, as as one does. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why play Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's fine. But what should I do now? Dr. Dan said everything is in my head. Okay, you know what? I'm flabbergasted. That's a bit much for me right now at this point. So we'll cut it short. We'll have a short episode since that last one was so long. But yeah, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Get some dialogue in the comments going down below. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell's going on. It seems pretty obvious that the aunt was behind this the whole time since, again, she was the only one alive. And it's like, huh, she found us and everyone was dead. And the newspaper article said that my parents were just sliced cleanly like what what kind of supernatural force could do that and then she also reported me dead just so she could get rid of me that that was fucked but it seems kind of like a downfall on her end i guess that asylum is doing experiments on children with all the hell pills that's kind of what it's alluding to here but anyway i digress we'll find out when we uh, play more next time i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>